Hey guys, um, in this video today I'll be going through differentiation in C1. What I'll do is I'll try and go through what differentiation is, why we use differentiation, and I'll do an example just to make sure that it's clear to you guys. Okay, so I'll begin with what differentiation is and why we use it. So, say for instance we have a curve here, y is equal to x squared plus 1, and we want to work out the gradient at the point x equals 5. Now, traditionally in GCSE, what we'd have to do is we'd have to draw the curve like this and then draw a tangent at the point x equals 5, like so. We would then have to work out the change in y and the change in x, and therefore the gradient, which is, let's say, m, is equal to the change in y divided by the change in x. Now, this is kind of long in a way, and it can take time drawing the curve, and then sometimes you don't draw the tangent properly, there's measuring error, and so there's a whole load of error in this method. So this is where differentiation comes in. So what differentiation basically is, it's a way of working out the gradient of this curve, y is equal to x squared plus 1, but any curve in reality. And you can work out the gradient at any point without having to draw a curve or any tangent. So we could work out the gradient at the point x equals 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, any number where this curve is valid, basically. So I'll begin with giving an example of how to differentiate, <coughs> excuse me, and then I'll work out the gradient of this curve at the point x equals 5. So when we say differentiation, what we write down is we say dy dx. Okay, so this is what differentiation is. We say dy divided by dx. So say, for instance, we have a question which says to differentiate y is equal to 5x squared. Okay, so how do we differentiate this? So, first of all, we notice there's a 2 here, and what we do is we bring this 2 down here and multiply it by whatever's in front of this term here. So, therefore, we would say dy dx is equal to 5 times 2, which is 10x, and then we just minus 1 to whatever number's here. So, it's 2 minus 1 is 1, or just, yeah, or just 10x. So I'll give another example, y is equal to 6x to the power of 7. So dy dx would be equal to 6 times 7, which is 42. 7 minus 1 is 6, so it's 42x to the power of 6. Okay, so this is basically how you differentiate just simple terms like 5x squared, 6x to the 7, 10x squared, just simple, simple terms like that. There are more advanced ways of differentiating, but that would be in another video. This is just for simple terms like this, okay? So, what, it, what does it mean now once we've worked out dy dx? Like this. So, if I go back to the first example, which was, if I just scroll up, this one here. We know that y is equal to x squared plus 1. And so, we want to know what the gradient is at the point x equals 5. So we first of all differentiate dy dx is equal to 2 times 1, 2, x, 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's just 2x. Now, when dealing with constants, dy dx of a constant is always 0. So if it's plus 10, plus 15, these are all constants. So the differential of a constant is always equal to 0. So in this case, dy dx is equal to 2x plus 0, or just dy dx is equal to 2x. Okay. So now, once we've worked this out, how do we work out the gradient at the point x equals 5? We basically just substitute this number here into there. So at x equals 5, dy dx is equal to 10. Say, for instance, we wanted to know at x equals 3, we just substitute it in. dy dx is equal to 2 times 3, 6. So you can just see the simplicity of this. It's much easier than drawing a curve and a tangent and then working out the change in y and change in x. Now, I just wanted to give an example when x equals 0. In this case, dy dx is equal to 0. So the gradient at the point x equals 0 is equal to 0. What does this mean? If I was to draw this curve y is equal to x squared plus 1, we would have something like this. Okay? So at x equals 0, which is here, if I was to draw a tangent here like so, sorry, this is supposed to be connected up here, we know that here the change in y is equal to 0. So therefore, m is equal to 0 by this equation here. In other words, the gradient is equal to 0, as shown 
here. So um, that's really all um, with differentiation there is with simple terms, as said before. Um, if you look in my other videos, there is about the chain rule, the product rule, quotient rule, just more advanced techniques of differentiation when you get a more advanced question. Um, check those out if you want. Um, I hope this video helps. So just practice, practice, practice. And um, thank you very much.